it's just another awesome segment that we are bringing you, of course. And Leon Nila Sikuyangu, and apparently I'm loving what I'm having on the table. But before we even you get to see what I'm having, well, I'm having other than a beautiful lady, you know, uh, she's Sharon Gatone. Yeah. And of course, she's the founder of the Black and White Kitchen. Kitchen. Yes. Karibu sana. Sante sana. Ever been here? No, thank you for having me. Though. It's nice to have you, man. Feels so nice. <laughs> so, Karibu sana. So, I want us to begin the interview with like, I'm looking at the table and it has so much of it. Yes. Where do we begin? Do we begin from this? We can start there. All right. Yes. Um, one of the things we do in the Black and White Kitchen is mm -hmm. we offer catering services and food meals. So, we tend to. Well, the motto and the vision is that we source local and serve gourmet mm -hmm. in the essence of we source what's local in the what's local in the market, what's coming fresh from the markets and the farms. And then we now pl play with them with how we're going to present them. Right. So we'll al always use a different cuisine. So with this, what I've done is I'm taking influence of, French, of, um, of Moroccan cuisine. So these are called Moroccan beef bundles. Mm -hmm. It's a Have you used local products for these? Yes. Right. Beef mints. Um, then I would have used uh, what I've used is as a pastry is you can actually buy this spring roll pastry but the frozen ones, mm -hmm. and then I've stuffed it in with minced meat, um, American spice. I normally mix myself. It has orange zest, and then you also cook it out with orange juice inside. Right. So it's nice, sweet, and savory still with a bit of spicy kick mm -hmm. to it. All right. Uh, apparently, it happens that you also the founder of Food Media. Yes, um, S. Gatonia Food Creative. Yes. It's for that, it's a platform where um, a part of my training was food, media, and theater. Mm -hmm. And it represents, it's how you, you represent or you showcase food in the, in, in the light of any type of media, from mm -hmm. TV to billboards to, well, social media is now part of a media. Aspect. So is uh, the both the food uh, media kitchen and, of course, even the, 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 how, how you bring it both, yeah. the margin away? They do imagine a way because right. you see, um, when I work with farmers, they still the same, same farmer that I'll help showcase how they show what they have in their farms. I, I also end up educating them on find they have oranges in their farms. Half of them are not being sold in the in the market. They right. still have them in the trees. What else can they do with them? What value addition can they do at home mm -hmm. to now to have a product which you can put out there, which can still source the, give them revenue? All right. Looking at the the, 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 way, the way you have uh, packaged everything, yes. what gap did you see? Because this is not an industry that has so much of people that have ventured into it. No. Mm -hmm. it, it's more the aspect of the creative. It's how you present it in a creative way. Right. We've gotten used to this aspect of it's food you put it on a plate and you eat it which should not be the case. It should be a journey. How I present it to you, what is the feel that I'm making you feel? It's as simple as if it's a theme, your event has a theme, mm -hmm. what are the things? Example, you tell me, um, Lion King came out soon. So people are mm -hmm. attending mm -hmm. to everyone's mm -hmm. baby shower slash, slash, slash King's fun mm -hmm. um, function is, is Lion King themed. Fine, they want mm -hmm. a whole African theme. Lion King, what, when you watch about it, it's the Sahara, you're seeing trees, you're seeing the world, al and, al world animals. <coughs> What can I put with those elements, right. put that in how I'm going to serve my food? All right. I, I loved it when you said that you used local, yes. local products. Yes. Have you ever thought about sourcing? Um, to other countries, depending on certain things. Certain, some of the things we don't grow in our country. So I definitely I now have to get some of them in. Thank God we now have all channels to bring things in the country. Right. But then I would now get that in or even or I switch it with something which we have locally, which mm -hmm. I can use also. All right. From... from these are just uh, uh, a tip of what you do. Yeah, this what is just something. What are some of the cuisines that you have done so far? Well, uh, I can do Japanese. Mm -hmm. Sushi is one of my favorite things to eat. Right. But also, I can uh, something I'm very vast with. Um, mm -hmm. Simple things from barbecue grilling, which has different techniques. You can have American style barbecue, and you can have Brazilian style barbecue. Which are two different separate techniques, but still, it's still meat related. We have our nyamachoma in Kenya, yes. which is a good slaughtered over uh, is is good and then slaughtered and we use only salt and water mm -hmm. yet in the u.s they use a lot of barbecue sauces and spices mm -hmm. in brazil they use butter or mm -hmm. clarified lard mm -hmm. it's those techniques which help give you that one thing but still same meat all of it all right you 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 have made several mega entries when it comes to the cuisines that you make. Yes. And I've seen you being featured in some of the magazines in the local content. Yes, some local and some um, out of, within Africa. Within Africa. Yes. So how, how, does that, how does that make you feel like? Well, it, it, I think for me, end of the day, is I'm representing where I come from, one. That's mm -hmm. one of the one things I've always wanted to where? represent that my country, Kenya, right. yeah, Kenya mm -hmm. and my food. Because it's something you grew up on, it's something you grew up seeing, but how is it in the modern world, in what makes me me? 
add my personality to it, can I put it out there for people to enjoy also? All right, all right, yeah. all right. So now when venturing into such kind of an industry, you might have seen a particular gap. Yes. Because right now, we have, as you mentioned, when we are off, it's not something that most young people would like to venture into in terms of agriculture. Yeah, it's agriculture and food because people will think that because I'm a chef, your work is just you're in a kitchen all day, um, Odd, it's very odd hours. Mm -hmm. You work 24 7, you're always on your feet. Mm -hmm. It's back to back, same menu, but it's the aspect of what fun new <coughs> things can you put into it. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely advise anyone who's young and is creative. It's For me, it started as me watching a TV show right. on TV to me, the magazines that you see when you're walking in town. The old magazines that you see, I saw one for food. I think it was a Jamie Oliver or a Martha Stewart. A very, it was very old because I remember it was, it was like 10 years old, mm -hmm. older than that time. But the recipes I saw in there, it was something different from what I'm used to have cooked in the house or mm -hmm. I cook in the house or I eat. And I was like, okay, but I can source the ingredients here. Yeah? What, what is so different about what they're making? How is it that they're making their food that way? It's, it was a curiosity aspect. And it's mm -hmm. just, I tell people, it's a test and error. I tested test out, and out error. on my right. family. Trust me, they have been eating <laughs> every single thing I saw. I cooked and they ate. They had no choice. Supper was supper. That they happened. are the ones to test these. They're the ones the to first test products. These. They're the first tasters for everything I make in the house. All right. Which was that one product that you felt like this one is going to give me some good things, some good results? Uh, I think it was the spices. Because mm -hmm. for me, it was always the aspect of I like spices making spices i like choosing fresh spices i like the way you blend some of you what when you blend certain spices it will give you a whole different taste compared to when you add it to this and it's that aspect of blending them together what is the result what can i make it with right and yeah and it's i always love the fact that i feed people with it so mm -hmm. i also test it out on, on my clans mm -hmm. the first people who use it apart from my family <coughs> And it's always a good feeling when you get feedback, then you work on it, mm -hmm. which is part of product development in food. All right. It, yeah. The graph that is always there for any entrepreneur, it's usually the demand and supply curve. Demand and supply, yes. Uh, how, how is the demand and supply for you? Um, sometimes it does vary because you find sometimes you have a very big demand, but yet you're short staffed. Right. Or what you can create within a short time or, or the period of time you're given to create. Because it Probably tells people. Uh, right now, I work with three people. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. um, but then you see all That is for food in the kitchen? No, that's for the kitchen, the all black right. and white kitchen. Mm -hmm. And that depends. It comes from the aspect of the still the supply. And I need to get my supply. My all supply right. does not supply me time. I can't have the products out. Mm -hmm. And yes, my clients want the product. You have to, I tell people, you have to create a good chain of, com a good chain of supply mm -hmm. and also a good chain of people to work with. Mm -hmm. It helps you get you to the goal you want to achieve and also grow. Because end of the day, you do want to grow... The, it's helpful growing organically is better than growing in an aspect of a, of a blink because mm -hmm. then with the organic aspect you'll have your failures and you will learn from them and then you'll you'll go you'll start back instead of having you going big you fail and it's a very downfall mm -hmm. to go to but yet it's entrepreneurship every curve is a learning thing mm -hmm. yeah all right uh, of course uh, mentioning that about entrepreneurship yeah. uh, the demand and supply is really really something that is not yeah. How, 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 how effective is the, is the, is the curve of, in terms of you, the people that you employ? Uh, you range it? It, it ranges because you see, end of the day, people are people. We mm -hmm. are all humans. People have the certain things which will happen, which they will either enable them to be able to get, to be able to serve you, to, to be able to give you what the, the requirements you need, or they won't be able to do. So it depends on what you need. It also depends on the task in hand. There's some people who I know I actually will work with them just for pastries and pastries alone because that's right. what they're good for. They mm -hmm. can understand flour. I tell people pastries <coughs> is one of the difficult things. You can add a few five grams of flour in or out can make a very big difference with how you do things. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I have one question for you. Yes. As a professional chef, yeah. is it chef or chef or chef? Chef. chef. Awesome. Yes. I was not that wrong anyway. For you as a professional chef, uh, which is your favorite cuisine? Wow. It changes the time right now because it's cold. Uh. I'm moving more to Moroccan. This is Moroccan? Yes. Where would you prefer Moroccan food? Because I think with the weather right now, it's spicy, but it's not too hot. It's a, it's a balance between sweet and spicy. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they use a lot of sweet, um, they use a lot of um, oranges, fruits, nuts, and then the spices are not too hot and um, too hot or, or too spicy. Mm. Like chili, that is. Yes. The, the very mellow spices, but then the, and with, the aid, with the aid of the sweet fruits and nuts helps them balance it out. When you say about Moroccan cuisine, I'm yes. still thinking about Indian cuisine. It still relates to some sweet. It does, in a sense. Because you see, Moroccan, 
well, depending on the different parts of it, in mm -hmm. India, they tend to use a lot of, they, use, they have curries. Mm -hmm. And some of the Moroccan spices also are similar to curry. You'll actually find use similar ingredients, but mm -hmm. the quantities are different. All right. Yes. Uh, how would you rate the market that you guys, you, oh, you, have, you have right now? How is the market right now when you probably wanted to venture into it? Well, it, it's still a new concept because one of the things I realized is that um, as Kenyans, we are very certain. I still, I will still eat the same mokimo that my mother makes with really? how she, she makes it to a point of like, I can make mokimo, but has is just much better. Mm -hmm. It's about education, ed educating people's palates, mm -hmm. telling them this is what you can make with what you have. And people also teaching people to be more experimental. So they're also able to adapt and to enjoy this cuisine. So what do you do? It's all about your passion. Yes. I love it because I get to change the menu I get to create every time. Mm -hmm. Every menu I make is not the same. I always give people new menus. I always create. So I'm always in the kitchen testing out something new. You're always in the kitchen testing something new. Yes. My chance to ask when it's good. If it works, then work well. Then we find a way to we come up with a new product or we come up with a new dish. So how do you sell these products? So for this right now, actually, I, I can say I'm blessed. Is uh, I've actually, well, most of the majority of my work is through word of mouth. Actually, right. it's word of mouth and people eating my food. So mm -hmm. I'll do a function. People will be there. They'll eat my food and, and the experience of what they're going to have mm -hmm. when I'm serving food. And that is what they'll actually will, will they'll actually give me a call. I'm like, I ate your food at this place. Or I heard about you from this. Mm -hmm. And I want you to do my function. And then I work with them. Because I always tell people it's a partnership. It's not that you tell me I want food this day, this, and that's it. It's what is the type of function are you having? What is the mood? Is this a dinner? Yes. Okay, fine. What is also the type of food you're expecting? You know, that is actually something which is very key. Do you have any dietary requirements? Do you have any food substitutes that you want to require? You can have a client. I, had, I have a client who, for her, she's like, I always know every year, um, Canadian Thanksgiving is a must. Mm -hmm. I have to now start sourcing maple syrup from where God knows, but then have I have to come up recipes, right? Because you see, there's certain things you're given. I tell people food is an experience that you have. But when you eat something like what your grandmother made, what do you remember? Those the, mm -hmm. like what the the emotion that it takes you. It's a ride that it takes you, and that's what I want to do with food. Uh, I'm probably to ask this question about uh, cancer. Yes, it's taking almost preeminence all over the country. Yes, talking about the food that we eat. Yes, what's your take on that? Um, I think well, which is very true. Food is a very important thing with our health, and it's about where is our food coming from. And that's one of the series I've been doing is that where, which, where are we getting our food? Yes, we are, we were in such a busy world where you get your food from the corner shop, but then where does that, where is that, that, that lady at the corner store get her food from? What chemicals have they been used? And then also how are we cooking? What type of foods are we eating? Mm -hmm. We live such a, like how many people eat chips on a week basis? It's simple things how, and the cooking methods. Mm -hmm. You'll find that what we used to eat, simple things like boiling and frying, using less oils, yes. using good oils also. It's all the small factors which we need to go back to, which are the traditional things which our, which our ancestors used to do is actually something which we might actually end up going back to because that is actually what's going to give us, is going to give us a boost in health. So you urge that we need to go back to the TVT? We, we need to go <laughs> somehow back to the TVT, but then also we need to know where our food is coming from. And we need to stick to healthier sources of food. You can't be having fried foods. That's another source of that. You can't be having a lot of food which have a lot of pro um, preservatives. Do so, you think, do yeah. you think there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's so much of impact when you talk about the chemicals that we intake? That is definitely one thing that is a factor. Um, simple thing as even fish. If our lake is polluted and the same way it's in the same fish from the lake, mm -hmm. then we'll pollute our bodies. That's right. what's gonna happen. So chemicals are the first impact chemicals, that we have. Chemicals, yes, and also our lifestyle will also right. the change. All right, many thanks for that. Let's not come to the cake. Yes. So what's, what is its component and what is recipe for this? So this is an orange cake. Mm -hmm. um, it's, an orange it's an orange spiced cake. And then on top, I put a glaze, and then I just what I had done is these are oranges, uh, right. the pixies, because that, that's all what's in season right now. Mm -hmm. um, I just sliced them up. I I did a sugar syrup mm -hmm. with spices, whole spices. I can see I have whole cinnamon here. Right. I have some cardamom and some cloves, and I just boiled that. What do the that. cardamom help for? Cardamom. Yes. No, it just it, it gives you a fragrant aspect, but also it does have it ha it does have soothing soothing feelings and and it helps with your health right 
and it's just it gives you it it gives the spice uh, it's spices also people normally say spices are actually have medicine which is true right. certain spices are actually good like ginger when it's cold you have a flu that's the first thing you go to all right it helps uh -huh. with boost your immune awesome. Sp some spices also give you that um that fi that feeling of comfort right mm -hmm. now it's cold so imagine a nice spiced cake with a cup of tea all right <laughs> That's all I can say, is, uh, and that's what I normally think of. It's cold. What is, mm -hmm. what is the one thing that my clients would need, or I need? Mm -hmm. If I can't eat it, then why would I serve it to people? people? All right, so it first of all begins with you. It begins all right. with you. It always mm -hmm. begins with you. All right. Um, yes, and what I did, I just uh, I, I sliced the oranges and I cooked them in the syrup, which is in here, mm -hmm. and then I just used them to decorate. Because now right. it's edible. So end of the day, I don't have any wastage in this orange. The, the peels are still there. Some of the seeds are still there. But then also because you've cooked it out, it helps make a gel. A gel it gelizes the syrup. All right. Uh, because of time, let me ask. If probably someone wanted to begin what you're doing, yeah. uh, how much do you think probably they need? Uh, what, do, what are some of the prerequisites they need? I think you can easily start from home. Mm -hmm. Home. With all what, do you, what you have in your home. Like, that's, that's where I started. I mm -hmm. started I decided the idea. I started looking around. I saw what people are... What, what's what is out there we have thank god nowadays everyone has a smartphone it's i think it's a necessary aspect of life mm -hmm. um what are you reading about food i tell people if you go on my phone or my laptop the only thing you will see is food related from what are the what are the what are the trends of food happening what is the new so-called new ingredient that is in the mm -hmm. that is in the culinary market it's educating yourself equip yourself with knowledge All right. once you have the knowledge which is free nowadays but mm -hmm. if you have a phone and you have data it's free and then taking that knowledge, applying it to what you have. Mm -hmm. You need to adapt it to what you have. So All right, because thing. of time, uh, I'll just ask one question. Yes. Do you think social media has brought positive or negative impact on young people? It depends with... Um, it's, a very, Whether? it's a very... I think there's a positive aspect because it has opened up people to know what, to see what's happening in the rest yes. of the world. And we get, we no longer feel like we're just an island. We're now, we're part of the world. But um, I think it's positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for you, for you, you think like social media should be like... It has its positive and negatives, but then if people stick to po the positivity aspect, and also I think it's just self-control. So what just... What you post, what you read, uh -huh. how does it, how does it impact you? Mm -hmm. It helps like with businesses, that's, it's one thing which has helped. It's one of the campaigns that I'm doing with farms. I'm teaching people, yes, you can go to a farm right. and get your things. All right, yeah. all right. Because of time, I want you to give us your parting shots. Oh, wow. Um, I think with, when it comes to food, I tell mm -hmm. people, like, with food, there's so many ranges. You can do products, you can do images, you can cook. But um, I think you stick to what you love, mm -hmm. educate yourself, and you'll be good at what you do. All right. Yeah. Many thanks for coming along. Thank we you much so appreciate. Much. Many thanks for keeping it Y254. It has been such a moment and such a nice time. And of course, right after this, I'll be taking this. So we at home and then we a situation happen. And of course, everyone, no one is here. Even no one even in the camera. And me too, cool too easy. Anyway, it's, it has been a such a nice time. And of course, having you from 7 a.m. all through to 10 a.m. Join us once again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow it's Queen's Wednesday. It has been Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Karanja Alex. See ya.